Romans 3. Romans 3 convicts all of us of sin. We're all serious sinners and therefore we should all die. Because sin brings death, all have sinned, we read here, and fallen short of the glory of God. Until we realise this, the gospel is not really good news for us. Those who are too proud to accept the seriousness of their sins and situation will not find the gospel very attractive. They won't see that. Wow, good news, just what I want, just what I need. How then can man be saved? We have sinned, we must die. Paul explains here how God has worked out our salvation. He says that we can be justified, which means to be counted right. But how can that legitimately happen? Would God have integrity if he just pretends that he didn't see our sin? Would that be a real salvation? Now, God's way in Jesus is far more profound than that and far more wonderful. God sees our sin. We are condemned to death. But his son, the Lord Jesus, had our nature. He was our representative, tempted just like us, but he didn't sin. We can become in Christ through faith, through baptism, through abiding in Christ. We're counted as if we are him. God counts his righteousness to us. We're in this way justified, right, with God. And really, that is what love is all about. Not turning a blind eye to weakness in the, in the beloved, but seeing them all the same, despite that weakness, as, as wonderful. And God loves us. He sees us as special, as wonderful, because we are in Jesus and he is in us. This is what it means to be a Christian, to be loved, to have God enthusiastic about us and planning an eternal future together with us. And the wonder of it all is that he does this in a way that is legitimate, that is of integrity, that is not letting man off the hook. We, the condemned sinners, are counted as if we are Jesus, as if we are perfect. And on that basis, we are saved. And so you see the crucial, the radical significance of Jesus. Now, looking at it like this, you understand why there is no salvation apart from being in him. Now, let's take that message to men and women. Urge them to accept the wonderful status that we also share, that they also can be in Christ, they can be baptized into Christ, they can be justified, loved, and have the problem of their sin now resolved in such an absolutely beautiful and wonderful way.